It's a beautiful day to fly, except your aircraft never got the memo. An aircraft with a dead battery can be critical, especially if used as a first responder, emergency craft, or for expedited delivery services. In the next few moments, we will show you how to jumpstart an aircraft using the Rescue Booster Pack 2020, the only booster pack capable of starting both Cessna and Piper aircraft, either because of a dead battery or just for cold weather starts. Before we begin with the actual jump start, we need to go over some routine but very important safety reminders. First, be sure to thoroughly go over the pilot's checklist for the aircraft. This will ensure that all mechanisms of the aircraft are checked and safe for flying. Always have a qualified person in the cockpit during the jump start and one person on the outside of the aircraft operating the booster pack and external aircraft receptacles. Always wear eye protection. Stay clear of the propeller at all times and never have your back toward the propeller. Whether you're jump starting your own aircraft or you're part of a ground support team, you'll always want to check the booster pack to make sure it is fully charged. We're almost ready, but we need to make sure the cockpit controls are set correctly for a proper jump. Start by making sure the radio and electrical equipment are turned off. Next, check the circuit breakers to make sure they are not tripped. Finally, make sure the ignition is off. Just before connecting the booster pack to the aircraft, the master switch should be turned on. Turning on the master switch is especially important since it will enable the battery to absorb transient voltages which might otherwise damage the transistors in the aircraft's electronic equipment. The booster pack on-off switch should be in the off position before making any connections to the aircraft. Okay, we're ready to make our connections. In this scenario, we are going to jumpstart a Cessna aircraft, so we need the proper connectors. The Rescue Booster Pack 2020 is designed to start 12 or 24 volt systems and has connections to start various aircraft as well as automobiles and heavy trucks. Set the voltage switch on the booster pack to the correct setting. This particular aircraft runs on a 24 volt system. The Rescue Booster Pack 2020 is equipped with a safeguard audible signal and light to alert you when the voltage switch is not set correctly. Should the alert sound, change the switch to the appropriate setting. We will use the Cessna style polarized power plug and attach it to the booster pack. Now we will attach the plug to the ground service plug receptacle located near the front of the cockpit or rear of engine. Turn the booster pack's on off switch to the on position. Start the engine. After the aircraft has been successfully jump started, turn off booster pack and remove the connectors from the aircraft. Soon enough, you'll be back in the sky. The 2020's unique design easily makes it the most versatile jump starter on the market, able to start small aircraft, automobiles, light trucks, as well as most heavy duty industrial equipment. The SB connector allows the user to plug in a variety of cable configurations and connector styles, such as the Cessna style connectors, Piper style connectors, and booster clamp connectors for general use. In addition, there are extensive cables available with plug-to-plug -plug or plug-to-lug connectors, all of which are engineered by Quick Cable. For more information on rescue booster packs, visit related sites on quickhowto.com.